Hey, yo, stop, stop, stop. Everyone relax. Let's stop being so pessimistic. Yeah, I say definitely start planning because the summer's definitely coming. As I said, worst comes to worst, you're gonna have to take a PCR test in order to travel. So we're gonna give you a few tips and tricks on how to maneuver your way through the summer of 2021. Let's go. Right, so tip number one, guys, is spread your cost. Spread your cost means book your travel in groups. So the bigger your group, the more discounts these holiday companies are gonna give. Airlines are gonna give discounts. Book an apartment instead of a hotel because an apartment, there's a lot more freedom. Uh, another one is shop in groups. Obviously, again, as we said, you get discounts on tickets. So if you're going to parties, get a, a group discount for your party tickets. Um, your excursions in terms of tours and activities. Also, when you get there, try and buy local people. Buy, buy local food and local drinks. They, they are a lot cheaper than buying things that you're used to at home because those things will be imported and they tend to be a lot, lot more expensive. Um, so get yourself a local SIM card because the, using the local network will be a lot cheaper. One other tip is uh, some of the experts are saying that you should book a package holiday because if you book a package holiday, then it's covered by APTA, which means if the holiday doesn't happen, then you are guaranteed to get your money back. People, I cannot press you hard enough on this. Get yourself insurance. Make sure the insurance includes a COVID clause just in case, okay? Because we're still, I know we're talking about this summer, which is a couple of months away, but we still don't know what is going to be happening exactly. It's better to be safe than sorry. Okay, guys, if it's possible, try and uh, get yourself a local guide of some sort. You, you can either do this through social media, so try and get in contact with someone who is living or knows the exact location that you're going to because they will be able to point you in the right direction in terms of tours and activities they will give you a price guide but remember prices um, this year for everything are going to be slightly higher than normal so do take that into account Another tip is to make sure you know the nearest hospital or clinic. So just in case any injuries amongst your party, then you know exactly where to go to. An additional reason for this is because of, you know what, the, uh, the, the so-called virus. And uh, if people need to go and get tested, you know how much it's going to be in terms of cost. And you know how long it's going to take in terms to, to get your results back. All of these things, guys, have to be factored in. It's, it's a precaution, I mean, hopefully none of you or your party will have to use this, but just in case, just in case. And the final tip that we would give you is say, book your holiday well in advance in order to get the best possible discounts. Remember the government's red list countries. We don't know how long those uh, countries are going to stay within the government's red list. So at the moment, the red list countries involve the whole of South America, parts of the Caribbean, um, most of South Southern Africa. So we're talking South Africa, Botswana, Namibia. Namibia. It also includes Rwanda in, in there as well um, and it also includes the United Arab Emirates which includes Abu Dhabi and Dubai. At the moment as of this video going out those countries that are on the red list you are not well the, the UK is not accepting flights from those countries if you do happen to come from one of those countries and you're a citizen of the UK then you are going to have to quarantine for 10 days in one of those
Chinese government hotels and they're going to give you the bill for that as well. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and I'll see you next time, I'm out.